I'm Brigham Morrison with Brigham Morrison Pianos. Just finished up this, we believe, 1870s Viennese action, Viennese piano built in Wien, Vienna. Produktive Genossenschaft. I don't speak German. And this was a, uh, a long slog of a project. This is, it's a completely antiquated action. These actions aren't used or manufactured. You can't get parts for them. So, so we had to actually manufacture lots of parts just on the scroll saw and kind of duplicating and, and refining. The piano's gorgeous. We did a, I, I would say this counts as a restoration. We've got all new strings. We refinished the soundboard. And all of that is, we, we, didn't, we didn't refinish the plate. We've got new hammers on there, lots and lots of new action parts. The ivory was in good condition to begin with, and so we left the ivory. Check out the pedals and the casters, those are beautiful. We didn't refinish it. Piano's about, I should have measured it, measured it before the video, probably about six and a half, seven feet long. It's a pretty long piano, pretty big piano. <clears throat> oh, new dampers as well, I didn't mention that. And of course, new tuning pins. Piano's just, I mean, in the best condition it's been probably for many, many, many decades, being 150 years old. And, and now I'll play it for you in just a second. It, it actually, it sounds pretty good. This is kind of, something unique. This is, these are for to put candles on so you can see your sheet music before the days of electricity. What I'm referring to when I say a Viennese action, so there's, there's different styles of actions and, and the, the current action, I happen to have one right here on the, on the workbench. This is the style of action that that really took off, that caught hold and took off. And this piano, this is 1920s or so, even though this piano is 100 years old, we can still get brand new parts that are manufactured to the same specs, both the shank as well as the whippin here, this, this part in here, those are the same specs as, as what was there before. Only, I would say these are built even better than, than what they were building back in the 1920s. And then this one, of course, has new hammers. We did put new hammers on this, but even the hammers, we had to, we had to like custom shape the hammers. So that was a, that was a, a serious work of labor of love. Let's say that. I think in large part because of its size. Oh, and it's straight strung too, which which is something that I should mention just because it's interesting. See how all the all the strings are straight versus let's go back to this 1920s piano. This is how this is the design of 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 the layout of the strings that, that caught on where these bass strings go over the treble strings, kind of in, the, in this cross pattern, and you've got a higher bridge than this bridge. The bass bridge is higher than that one, so that that can accommodate the, the longer, or, or the strings crossing. Whereas this, the bridges are the same height, and the strings don't cross, they're, they just go straight. Oh, one more, one more thing that's kind of unique is you have a complete one-piece plate. Again, that caught on. That started in the 1840s, I think 1845, I, I believe it was Chickering, I wanna say, that came up with the complete one-piece plate. Whereas, whereas still in, in Europe, a lot of the manufacturers were still, even, even, into the, even into the 20th century, a lot of them were doing these, these plate parts that are, that are built in, in several different components. Anyway, let's get back to listening to the piano. Not bad for a Viennese actor. 
action piano. That sounds really good. I know some basic Beethoven, which is what I feel like I should be playing on a Viennese <coughs> action, Viennese piano. Is this bar thing special? Oh yeah, it's okay. Kind of different. All right, I'll mention that too. Yeah, the the damper mechanism is is also totally different. That's the. I mean, it's typical of a Viennese action the way the dampers work. They don't work as well as as a modern piano, although on this piano they actually work better than any Viennese action piano I've ever heard. That, that really is, I, I've, never, I've never seen or played a, a Viennese action piano that, that sounds that good, that plays this well. And frankly, I mean, it's gorgeous too. I, maybe I've seen some that are this pretty because, you know, that lasts forever. The beautiful cabinetry, but, uh, but yeah, I'm really, really pleased with how that turned out. This customer I think is gonna be, gonna be uh, super lucky. Anyway, there it is, the Produktiv Genossenschaft from Wien.